Hello there, YouTube. Uh, Beware the Funk 69 here, and just a quick word about uh, some of the aftermath of the recent rioting in the UK. Uh, my daughter works for an insurance firm, and I was speaking to her about the riots the other day and saying that a lot of people are who are doing the smashing up just assume that uh, everything that they steal or break is going to get paid for through insurance. And uh, my daughter snickered at that at the end of the phone. And I asked her, well, I said, I suppose since you're in insurance, maybe you could answer the question. I mean, are the insurance companies going to pay out for all these, uh, uh, you know, shops that have been getting busted up or, or are riots not covered by most insurance policies? And I'm not so sure if what she said was uh, indicative of the policies of insurance companies in general or just the company that she works for. But she said that if the rioting is classed as an act against the government, then the insurance companies won't have to pay. If, on the other hand, it is classed as pure criminal behavior and not an action taken against the government, then the insurance companies will be likely to pay. So uh, that's something to keep your eye on. How are they going to define these riots? Who gets to make that call and on what criteria? If anybody out there knows, I would be fascinated to find out.